Hervé Ouattara led thousands of protesters down this road to the presidential palace, calling for Blaise Compaoré to step down three years ago. Here, he says, protesters fell like flies when soldiers started shooting at them. The day after the protest, Compaoré fled to neighboring Ivory Coast, ending his 27-year rule. He's now on trial, along with former government ministers accused of ordering the killing of protesters. This trial is for us a way to finally find some peace, reconciliation, and to allow us to finally have the truth in what really happened that day and why so many had to die. 33 people died, hundreds were injured. Protesters burnt down the parliament in anger. The building remains in ruins to serve as a reminder of how far people will go to restore democracy. Members of Compaoré's party believe the trial is politically motivated to weaken the Congress for Democracy and Progress, which is now in opposition. There are certain international standards that this court is not respecting in order to make a swift ruling. It's a trial that favors those in power, so we believe it's politically motivated. The presiding judges are members of parliament, some belonging to the ruling party's People's Movement for Progress. Compaoré's defense lawyers walked out of the high court last week in protest. This trial is capturing attention, not just in Burkina Faso, but elsewhere in West Africa. Never has a West African former head of state been tried in a domestic high court. If they're convicted, the high court will ask for the extradition of Burkina Faso's former president Compaoré from Ivory Coast. And that may take time, no matter what the outcome for the families of the victims and those opponents who fought to topple the regime. This trial is an opportunity to see those leaders who were once feared and powerful finally face justice. Watara is due to take to the stand and face the accused. A witness to a brief moment in Burkina Faso's history where the people stood up to gunfire and ended the rule of one of Africa's longest standing presidents. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Ouagadougou.